It's February 2020 in Chandler, Arizona. I want to give you a little snapshot of what's going on in our real estate market here in Ocotillo. First of all, why is there an inventory shortage? Well, Trulia did a study across the country and included Phoenix in that study. And there were a lot of different reasons. Uh, one of them that's being talked about a lot is that baby boomers just aren't moving. And that may be true, but truly a study says that that maybe only affects about 3% of the inventory. The biggest impact is that over 30% of the homes out there right now are investor owned and being used as rentals because there's a strong need for homes in the rental market in uh, Arizona and quite honestly across the country. Student loan debt is keeping the millennials from buying in mass like we would expect, but they need to rent. So right now for people that bought in 2011, 2012, they're not getting rid of those homes. They renovated them, they're using them as rentals. An interesting thing here in Ocotillo, last year at this time, Ocotillo had between 68 and 80 homes available on, uh, for sale. Today there's 28. That's a huge difference. And the buyer activity is up 17%. In Spyglass Bay, where I used to live, beautiful little area, there's only one home for sale. There's a lot of rentals around Ocotillo, but the interesting number that I found this morning was that there are over 20 homes that are used as vacation rentals. So there just isn't a demand. There's a demand for homes, but there isn't a lot of demand for people to sell their homes. I know a lot of people that have sold their homes and moved somewhere else. They had enough money to put down another down payment and they're using their current home here for a vacation rental. And that's contributing a lot to the shortage of homes for sale. If you're a buyer, we're not seeing any data anywhere that says that prices are gonna roll back anytime soon over the next couple of years. None. Any of the metrics that say that there's a possibility of prices declining just aren't there. And that's from a respected analyst at the ASU who runs the uh, real estate report called the Cromford Report. He doesn't see any indication, anything that shows that prices are going down. So if you're sitting on the fence and you're waiting for that correction that everybody's mumbling about, you're, you're gonna be waiting a long time. The recommendation is to buy now and just stay put for five years. Um, we just don't see a big decline, so if you're waiting, it's not gonna be there. The obvious thing about selling is, if you're thinking about selling, look, there's no question, now's a good time to do it. Demand is strong. Just across the street here is a large Intel plant. They've got a $7 billion expansion project going on right now. And they have a budget of $80 billion. They intend to be the national headquarters down here in Ocotillo, $80 billion. Up the street, north of Grumman just opened their new place. So South Chandler's on fire. If you're thinking about selling, this is the hot time of year, January, February, March, and April. Um, if you price correctly, you're done in a weekend. So if I can help you with anything, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com.